you can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast. We're going to still do it. Ah, Hello. Welcome to Relax the Podcast. I'm Colleen Ballinger. And you are? Eric Stocklin. Eric Stocklin. I don't know why you're not re- talking. <laughs> I'm like, um, hi, everyone. Uh, welcome Hello. to this week's podcast. Welcome I'm excited for this episode because... Very exciting episode. I have a segment I'm very excited about. You do? Yes, and it involves TikTok. Surprise um, to me, we don't really talk about what we have planned beforehand. No, we don't. We don't really talk. We don't. Well, that's why I'm excited because I feel like I don't get to hang out. With I guess that was the point you. of uh, the conceit of this podcast yeah. to begin with. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that makes sense. Uh, but but I'm, I'm very excited to hang out with you tonight and chat with you a bit. Nice to see you. Nice to see How you are too. You? I'm really tired. Mm, shocking answer. I know. You heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. No, they did Colleen not. Mellinger They've is heard tired. it lots yeah. of other places. Um, okay. So do you want to go first with your relax or shall I go with mine? You go ahead. You want me to go with mine first? Ladies first. Oh, what a gentleman. Thank you. They say <laughs> chivalry is dead. Is it? No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, my who needs to relax this week is a person. No, it's not actually. I'm, not, I'm curious. But it has to do with a person. Okay. It has to do with you. Of course. My who needs. Oh my God. I just realized that's where Flynn got a course. Yeah. Cause I say it. Cause you uh, say a course, not uh-huh. of course. Anyway, I love that. Where'd you um, think he got it from? A course. Paw Patrol? No, a Miranda. <laughs> I always go a course. You do. And do I was you? like, yes. I think you also got it from me. No, I've been Miranda a lot longer than I've known you. Mm. Anyway, my who needs to relax is Eric Stockland's concept of time. So Eric Stockland (laughs) has a way of um, not telling the truth when it comes to time. And I don't know if it's because you genuinely believe these time frames or if... Where do you get off? (laughs) Because we can talk talk about... No, no, no. This is my... Colleen Ballinger's... This is my... Understanding of time. Okay, After. sure, we can. Okay. We can talk about my understanding of time, but I'm not talking about in general, like how I'm late. I should say or not how I say understanding. Like, or um, how I say like, oh, I'll be 10 minutes and then I'm an hour. I get that I do that. Mr. Oh, Stock, it's not just, it. it's not just time with Stockland though. It's like, you're, you're a big one upper and I love this about you uh-huh. before. This is what I mean. Please stocks. You're my wife. You can yeah, call me that. I'll so- call you stocks. So this is what I mean. If Eric slept stocks. six hours. He will tell you he slept three right. until you say you slept two. Then he slept one. If yes. Eric is in traffic for one hour, he will tell you it was three hours. If Eric uh, gets an audition and there's five pages of sides, he will tell you there's 30. If Eric. <laughs> Someone is so mad about their roast episode that, that they're no, c- coming guns blazing. All. I've been wanting to do this for a couple of weeks because no, this is very true. Like Eric is like, I woke up at 6 a.m. And then the next time he tells me the story, he's like, I woke up at 5 a.m. And the next well, time he tells me, I woke human up at experience. Like, what if it was but that time hard? time changes? Yeah, I mean, relatively, what is time? You know what I mean? It's, what are we? You know what I mean? We don't exist. Time doesn't exist. It's hard. So, so if, if, I, I say, if I change the realm of time as you understand it, <laughs> it's because it was that much harder for me I don't know if you in noticed, that moment. I don't know if you noticed right before we started, right before we pushed record, I started laughing. Because I was like, oh man, I'm tired. I only got two hours of sleep last night. <laughs> and you go, well, my night. And you start talking about how yours was worse. No, I was relating to you. I was relating <laughs> oh, to you on, no. on, a, on a personal level. No, okay. but I was saying I get it because I was, I get how hard that was for you last night because I had a night last week that was really hard. Well, you didn't say that. That's what I tried to e- emote. <laughs> no, no. It's not what I emoted. <laughs> no. But anyway, um, you have a... You you do this a lot. I've always noticed about you, but I've never we never really talked about it that much. Except sometimes we send each other memes or TikToks about like how couples one up each other with how little they've slept. Uh-huh. Um, but this is why I wanted to bring it up because in the podcast a couple of weeks ago, um, something very mm. funny happened, and no one caught it but me when I was listening to it <laughs> and reviewing it. So we were talking about this um, 
pottery that we get from this local like <laughs> paint your own I pottery hate place. So much that you're bringing this up, so now people can go back and like it's so hear it because I know no one caught it. Because this is the this is the except for you of Eric. And, and you is, thought it was the funniest part of that episode, so and no one else funny. would have caught it but you. But now you're calling no, me out. No, I know for it's it, funny yeah. to me because this is so. It's like the epitome of you and this this part of you. This like one upping. It's much more dramatic than needs to be you. I don't think I'm a one upper. I, I <laughs> yes, think I'm. Yes, you are. I don't. I will maybe only in only this, in, in the circumstance of only in miserable our, things. Our our parenting like relative misery. Only in things that are negative. Like I can't. I'm not. I cannot be more miserable than you. I cannot be more tired than you. Is kind of how it goes. But you're it's more too. talented and more beautiful. <laughs> That's but not true at but all. But you're also. But you're not more tired than me. Yeah. Always. Eric will always no. say he's more tired than me. Okay. So this is what happened. So we're doing the episode. Um, and we're talking about pottery that we got to paint. You take home and you paint it. And he was explaining that like he had this pottery mug that he had been painting for a while and from color me mine. From color me mine. And he was talking about how he was painting it. Uh-huh. And, and I said, Oh, I'm so jealous. Cause I haven't had a chance to finish my, my pottery. And I said, I've had mine for weeks and I haven't had a chance to paint it. And he said, I've had my mug for months. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> yes. I still haven't heard you didn't it. say it rude. You're like, I've had my mug for months. I w- but I the reason it is it. funny is because all of the pottery that we have, I bought on the same day. Right. And, <laughs> and I just Eric in that moment was like, couldn't stand that I, I said <laughs> my plate hadn't been done for weeks. And he was like, but mine hasn't been done for months. Can we play that? On the same day. Can we play that clip real quick? My hobby would be to, at this point, yeah, I'm so jealous. Paint I want to finish my plate so take bad. Home I started my color me color mine plate me mine like mug. a month ago. And have it right. Well, home. I've had this mug in our house for a few months. Okay. Um, but if you did yeah. hear it, then hi, we're back. And you know what's funny? I saw a comment um, recently that was like, I love that 50% of the time when Colleen says, if you're watching, there's a picture here that we're going to put in a video here. Half the time it is definitely not there. Really? They're like, it's always, this, this, we oh, never no. know if we're going to get it or not. Okay. <laughs> so it's a roll of the dice. So whenever we're like, and here's a picture of it. I never know if it's actually going to end up in the episode. We're not good at communication in that <laughs> way. <laughs> so sometimes we just say these things and just think they'll happen when they just don't happen. So I don't know if you just heard that clip or not, but really, I didn't um, know that, but that clip made me laugh. And the reason no one else would have caught it is because they didn't know that I bought my plate and your mug on the same day, but you just had, that just made me laugh. So anyway, I've been wanting to say that as my relax for a while and I just keep forgetting um, because it is something that happens often in our home. (laughs) And I just think it's very endearing about you. Time is a circle. You'll say, I woke up. It's like you've been, um, so before we had the twins, Yes. I would take, we do shifts as parents and this works really well for us. We do shifts of like, um, you know, I like before the babies were born, I would be with Flynn in the early morning and then Eric would take him for, I wouldn't even say as morning. parents, I would say as survivalists. Yes. yes. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. this is some like naked and afraid mm-hmm. like stuff. Like, mm-hmm. and so like right now, Eric takes Flynn from when he wakes up until about lunchtime while I'm with the babies. Cause they don't sleep much at night. So that's when I kind of sleep on and off. And or you I couldn't the then get sleep. up with Flynn because he gets up very early yeah. and is like ready to right. rock and roll. So Flynn, uh, I had that shift with Flynn before the babies were born, that early morning shift. And, um, wow. and what's funny is that I know from being with Flynn that, you know, the rare occasion he'll wake up at like six, sometimes six thirty, but usually it's around seven ish. Lol. Not lol. It's I so very, funny to me that now rarely, that you do the morning shift every morning, he is up at six or five thirty. He's never been awake later than six with you. He's been having a hard time lately. I think fundamentally adjusting to like the family shift. So that that isn't just me. Love that isn't me. my one up one up some shit. <laughs> when I tell you about wake ups or nightmares or thing, you know what I mean, things that are happening, but also your version of that would be then to like kind of hand him off to me. In mid-morning, yes. Right. Mid-morning. Yes. Mid-morning. 8 a.m. is mid-morning. Oh, come on. When I was pregnant with twins? Anyway, moving on. Uh, The point is that now all of a sudden- We have an award for you. It's engraved already. It's a big trophy. Parent of the year. (laughs) That would be you. You're the parent of the year. 
Well, this you. isn't about being a good parent. This is just about like you love a one-upping I know. moment. I got defensive. I, mean, I love you. I love but you. You came at me pretty hard. You the whole we've had two episodes where you just roast me and I say one thing I that you so. do. I think we've had like 56. <laughs> <laughs> 56 episodes of just me making fun of you. I know, and I make fun of you once and it's like yeah, very and it's, <laughs> Yeah, and I just start breaking the <laughs> microphones. Trying? I quit. Yeah. Uh, I love you though. Goodbye. I love you. Just that was a very funny moment in the podcast a couple weeks ago. That your mug somehow existed longer than mine. Well, if anyone's listening, put that clip in because it was (laughs) pretty funny. I I still haven't heard it. Like, I still haven't. Oh, it makes me laugh. All right. Before we move on, because I'm sure the rest of the episode will just be a roast of me as per usual. So before we get into the roasting of Colleen Ballinger, let's say thank you to our first sponsor. And we are not going to be roasting them because we love them. We talk about them all the time. I love them. More than you, probably. It is. I've loved them longer. Love. Third love. (laughs) Third love. Oh, we love third love. Hey, I got a question for you, lovey. Is there something like a pair of shoes or a shirt or something that is just like perfect? It feels good and it fits perfect from like the second you put it on. You're just like, oh, this is it. Yeah. You got that? What is it? A pair of shoes? What is it for you? I'm sure it's a jacket. Shoes. Which ones? I don't know. Good ones. (laughs) God. I don't wear bras. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how to participate in this ad. I just asked I you like them question. on you. I'm just saying that everyone well, has. Just say you like how they look on my chest. Everyone. On my bosom. No, like, say I'm something saying. like that. Why does it have to be like, I have to like think off the top of my head, like, what's the coziest thing you've ever worn? I don't know. A lot of it. You're still very defensive in the music. You already put me in defensive mode. We get but it. Anyway, Third Love makes great no, bras. So you love them. No. Just saying, there's everyone has that one shoe or the one shirt or one jacket or something. You're just like, ah, it fits like a glove. Yeah, but well, I, didn't get, I didn't get to take a quiz. Let me finish. Is there a quiz? <laughs> no, listen, for third love, what they have is their 24 7 classic t shirt bra. That's what it is for them. That's their favorite item of clothing that fits perfect every if time. If I did have to, if I did have to or want to wear a bra, like a t shirt bra. Oh, yeah. Like it's my favorite one they got. The gym. It's their number one bra for a reason. It offers unparalleled comfort thanks to every unique detail in its fit, style, function, and design. Loved and worn by millions of women. I'm one of those millions of women. Good for you. And it doesn't pinch. It doesn't dig. You won't want to take it off the moment you walk in the door. No one wants to leave it on. No diggy bra. No, no dinky bras. No here. diggy. Oh. <laughs> I said dinky. But thank you for just like participating. I was, like, I was yes anding you. Did it, it said diggy, right? It says dinky. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't I was like, oh, diggy bra no, sounds okay. like painful. Not a third love. The 24-7 t-shirt bra is designed to fit and form to your body because every detail has been made with ultimate comfort in mind. It's ultra thin, has memory foam cups that give your boobies everyday comfort and support. It's got these fancy straps that never slip, and it's so smoothing it looks invisible no matter what you wear. It's available in cups A1, including Third Love's exclusive half cups, which this is one of my favorite things about Third Love, is they have half cup sizes, so you are insured to find a size that fits you perfectly. Like measuring cups. What, are you just going to have only whole cups? Like, you get the thing no, of, like, measuring cups, cups and it's just a bunch of whole cups? No, you need, like, the I increments. I love that makes the, sense to me. the uh, shopping experience at Third Love is so wonderful because you take this quiz online, and it's like a little fitting room quiz, and you can find out what size you are, if you are a half size, and it's easy and fun. You don't have to go in and get sized for a bra, which is always super awkies. Um, so, <laughs> it's awkies a word? It is now. Awkward. I don't know. I made a face. But it's really nice to have a bra that fits perfectly and you don't have to like go to the store to find it. It's just do girls right not there. want their bras to be seen? Uh, some girls do. Some girls I don't know. It depends. Is that on the a bra. selling point in a bra? Like as they're no. Sometimes you do. I mean, sometimes it. Sometimes you. Know, you it feels like you. Sometimes you would want a bra. Yeah. It yeah seems if it's like, like a cutesy one. Yeah. Anyway, these these bras are better than my old ones. Okay. I love them a lot. Um, they're absolutely wonderful. I love my t-shirt bra. It's the best one that I have gotten. That's my favies. And um, yeah, it's amazing. Stop got, making up wait, words. I'm this sorry. Ad. I'm just crazy. excited about it. You're crazy. <laughs> still, this stuff. Eric's still so angry. Um, they've got great comfort and quality. Uh, they do comfort well. And so can you if you get their love. Their bras are made by women for women to fit, feel, and look great. 
Their bras, underwear, activewear, and feel good in it all day wear are designed to hug better, hold stronger, and support longer. Third Love obsesses over each stitch so you can feel comfortable and confident 24 7. So, did you guys know that your bra size can change six plus times in your lifetime or in a year if you're me? Are <laughs> you one of the 80% of women wearing the wrong bra size? You probably are. So, go check it out. Third Love makes it easy to find a bra that actually fits with that little fitting room quiz I was talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. The fitting room quiz is like a personal shopper, but better. It focuses on size, breast shape, current fit issues, and your personal style to find bras that are perfect for you. The fitting room has helped 18 million women find their true bra size, and you could be next. Feeling is believing. Give your boobs the 24-7 comfort and support they deserve. Upgrade your bra today and get 20% off your first order today at thirdlove.com slash relax. That's 20% off at thirdlove.com slash relax. Did it, did it say boobs? Bubes that I say. There you go. Bubes. <laughs> like, Maybe it did. You'll, we'll never know. <laughs> okay, love. Tell us who needs to relax for you this week. Salads. Salads. Okay. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Like the idea of salads as, I feel a, like you've as, done this one before. as a meal. I don't know that I have or I haven't, but I'm going to talk about it now. Okay, that's fine. And I, I, I feel some trepidation talking about it, but I don't. I don't understand. I don't get it. And I'm not talking about um, your your dietary preference or um. Hmm. What's the word? I, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> uh, Restrictions? If you're if you're vegan, if you're pescatarian, mm-hmm. like if you're vegetarian, like if not, like you can't come on. Salads aren't a meal, right? They're not. You can't you can't just eh, they could be. No, I don't think they are. Like you can't just be eating this is a how salad. I feel about soup. You're gonna eat a salad, you're gonna be full. First of all, what? So I said this is how I feel about soup and and uh, smoothies. Well, I just, I wouldn't, I will never be full. And also I will never finish a salad. Who's ever, fin- has anyone in their lifetime ever finished a salad? I have multiple times. The amount. <laughs> <laughs> Many times. The amount of time and effort it takes just in the, in the processes of eating a salad. Processes? Yes. I'm talking about like, okay, how do we get this on the fork? How do we get it in our mouth? The, do you know the, how the forks time work? Of, yeah, I sometimes hold them like this and <laughs> you get do. really <laughs> mad about it when it, when it's not how I hold a fork, it's just the efficiency of the scoop. We're going to let that pass. You can save that for another episode. Yeah, I roll the galore. Um, but it's just, it takes forever and you get these salads at these places and, and I'll, I will eat a salad for an hour and it'll be like a quarter of the way done. And I'll be like full ish, but like I'll never be full and I'll never eat that salad. It's crazy to me. That people are like, I'm eating salads now. I'm eating a salad for lunch. I'm eating a salad for dinner. I'm ordering a salad at a restaurant. No, you're not. You're that's that doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, it did. I mean, you can get a filling salad. Like you cannot, and you will not. You order your the your most. What's the most favorite salad in your mind right now? Is it that chicken salad that you got mm-hmm. in Santa Barbara last week? What's the most like favorite? Oh, salad? that one was really good. Right, exactly. You kept saying that. Did you finish it? You did no, not. No, it was huge. Were you full? You were not. I kind of was. No, you weren't. <laughs> yeah, I was. Well, I had a lot of chicken in it and like croutons and like crispy things. So it was like there was carbs and protein in it, like galore. <laughs> but you do hate a salad. Eric hates I a salad. I hate them. He hates and them. And so if I order a salad, I have to get like some sort of like tortilla something. If you can wrap a salad in something, fine. Totally acceptable. But you're not a lettuce fan in general. I am when it comes to like, I'm eating healthy. So like I'm eating healthy. So I'm like going to get a salad, but I've, I have to wrap it up because then it's honestly not even just because I need the wrap. It's just so I can actually eat it. Because how are you just supposed to eat leaves in a bowl? Well, here's the thing. I, we're leaves not going to get into scattered, it. scattered. Oh, you want crushed almonds on your salad? No, they're all at the bottom in the wet sop of the dressing. Like you want this? Like it's, you can't get a good bite. It doesn't work. <laughs> salads don't work at all. Like nobody should be having salads unless they are wrapped. See, I, I don't eat healthy, but I do appreciate a good salad. I like a good salad. There's plenty so it's of not salads for health like, that you will get a salad. No, you get no. a salad by choice, not for health. Yes. Okay. See, I've been getting them or, or wanting to get them in my mind mm-hmm. and not physically getting them, but mm-hmm. thinking about getting them for health. Okay. But see, what you do is get like a lot of dressings and then wrap and you, well, a lot that's of croutons. The, that's, so then it's kind of like, might as well just get well, whatever then, you want. Then it's, then it's edible. You know what I mean? Because what are you just going to eat? Dry leaves and shredded carrots. And we, we have, some, 
We dry some cranberries and we crush some almonds. We threw them in there. They're at the bottom. Good luck yeah. getting them on a fork. Like you won't. <laughs> like there's no way you well, will. Well, they attach to the dressing that's attached to a leaf. Leaf. But the only dressings that are like moderately like healthy ish, if you're talking about calories, are like vinaigrettes. Mm -hmm. Because we're talking if, if we're talking Caesar, mm -hmm. if we're talking Bluch, aka mm -hmm. blue cheese, mm -hmm. ranch, your favorite. I love a good ranch. You, like, Not in honestly, though, actually. <laughs> I've only ever seen you eat ranch sauce. <laughs> you get extra ranch. Wait, what are you I talking feel about? Like we've had this particular conversation. We have, have remember we had a conversation on one of the first podcasts where I said like, "What else can you?" Any like, meal what else involving you ketchup or ranch. Get extra ketchup. Oh, ketchup. Get extra oh my God. ranch. Like, like I've you'll never order, in you'll my life order said a get extra salad, ranch. and they'll, they'll, it'll just be like a salad, and it'll, it'll just be. Okay, a there's pile one. Of ranch there's discs. one type of salad that I like my ranch on, and it is like a classic dinner garden salad from like a pizza place, or like at a diner if they have like like a fried chicken salad, like where it's like iceberg lettuce and nothing good for you and fried chicken. Then I want ranch on it. But everything like I usually don't want ranch on a salad. And we've had this conversation in a podcast, and you were like, "What else would we do? We done we done fifty seven of then, these. And I don't know what we talked I, like, about. Remind at this you point. that you can use ranch on like pizza and stuff, and you freaked out. I don't remember. I feel like this. I mean, it was a year ago. I think it was, it was a, two kids a, a, less ago. A dream you had. Um, no, it really happened. But anyway, any if you put any of those dressings on a salad, which is the only thing that could make a salad edible in mm -hmm. my point of view, you might as well be eating a Big Mac. It literally then makes them calorically the right. same value as a Big Mac. Sorry for boring you. At no, this I'm point. just tired. My salad of TED talk. Um, but like I've been thinking about this because like and I don't know if you feel this way physically because mm. you have a different physical experience by ha having kids. When we had Flynn, mm -hmm. it was like one baby. Yes. And so in our shift parenting and whatever, like we could, like if we still had like a semblance of like, we, uh, I mean, it was so hard because it was so different to us. And it was, and it was so hard because it was such a change and it was so hard and he was so hard and life was, became so different. And instead of becoming these individuals who met and fell in love, we were these individuals who met and fell in love and now had to care for another human. Now we have him plus newborn twins. And I have no like real semblance of time to like dedicate to like caring for myself. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And so I don't get like to be physically active or, or have like a, some sort of like work. Like it doesn't happen. Like, mm -hmm. it, like I, as much as I try, like it, like we don't, I don't have, time to right uh also the pandemic but i yeah i don't have time to go to the a gym not that i would right now but like a workout in any capacity mm -hmm. and so like i've i've i'm on the i feel like i'm on i'm i'm on like um dad bod cusp oh please. which is fine no you're not which is fine no but i but i f physically feel that which makes me feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. if that makes sense like not that i I think it's in your head. But no, no, I'm 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 teetering and I know that I've gained what? Pounds. A booty? You got a booty? You wish. Uh I've since the twins, I've i I don't know. Is, is that are you, open, are you getting vulnerable about right now? No, I'm not getting you look like you're about to cry somehow. No. Like you're just ready. I'm just I'm just listening. I'm just listening to where you're where you're going with this. Well, since like the whole NICU experience mm -hmm. and like whatever, like we have we have like a scale in the house and I've never stand on it. But like I was feeling like uncomfortable, like in myself. And then I stood on it and I've gained 10 pounds over the course of like all this, which is That's fine, fine. Which is great. But like, I just feel like, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So, it, so, so like, and salads, you know what I mean? Like it's bullshit. <laughs> well, like, why don't you eat like chicken and veggies then? Why do you, why, why, so why does salads have to be a healthy know. option? Well, I'm just saying, because that's what, that's like what you think is cause, cause also we have no time to really cook or whatever. So like you order from takeout and you're like, hey, you want Taco Bell? Hey, you want McDonald's? Yeah. Uh huh. Or if there's another restaurant, it's like we have Similar options. Sorry for boring you again. <laughs> he says that when for I yawn. Anybody just listening. Uh, he says it when I yawn, and I'm just. It's Queen just aggressively I'm unhinges her jaw and yaw, <laughs> yawns at me in a way that like it's just a snake we, would devour a we rabbit. We record these <laughs> so late, and I would tell you how many hours I, I slept, I, but it would I'm just not, cause I'm not a offended. ruckus. I'm, just, I'm not offended. I'm just busting your balls. But honestly, like if you were a snake, you would be eating a small dog. 
Okay. So um, wait. So just or I think your solution so, is so to be a bubble. And like, but we also have salads, and it's like those. It's those aren't you can't eat those. Yeah, those you don't things. like a salad. I know. I like a good so salad. So what do I do? What do I do? You eat chicken and veggies. You eat salmon and veggies. You eat that kind of boring stuff. I know, but I want to like. I can't help you out here. I'm the worst person to talk to about eating healthy or working out. <laughs> I don't be, do if I hired one. you as my personal trainer, uh, can you imagine? We would eat a lot of McDonald's. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I touched the microphone. It's okay. Touch the microphone all you want. Okay. I, 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 he says that because before we started recording, I said, just be careful when you touch the mic because it makes a creaking sound. Every time you touch it, they can hear it. The creaking like <laughs> sound. And um, he no, did, he did not heed my advice. In the comments, let me know if you hear this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so every time he does so that, nobody inside, heard it. Every no, time, no every comments time are going to say mic, that they heard that. They're I be think like, in my head, I'm like, oh, they're going to hear that Sorry. if they're listening. And um, so I'm just trying to help them out. It's, yeah. it's not a diss on you again. <laughs> sorry. My, sorry. Like, yeah, of course, I had to take me down a peg in my vulnerable moment. Talking about my <laughs> weight gain. Even say anything. I just looked at you. I didn't even say anything. Okay. I think you look hot and perfect. I, I've not noticed a single pound of gainage. You're talking to someone who gains. Look. <laughs> show me your booty. Um, you're talking to someone who gains 70 pounds during my pregnancy. So uh, I know all about the gainage of weightage. And, and who cares if you do gain weight, but you haven't. You look great. So don't order salads. No, I, yeah, no, I wasn't. Yeah, I'm not. Saying that, I'm just saying. Order I'm just saying. You just want to feel better. Like hey, let's we'll just just wipe salads out. Like let's just not do them. Okay. Let's just make them wraps because there's no way to eat a salad. But what and about- it's not doing anything, and you can't finish it. But see, here's the thing. There's a solution for you. Salads here. are wraps, but naked. Wrap them up. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so offended by salad nudity? Because it was just like fork by fork, taking leaf by leaf. And like everything then, you just have this like this soupy Love, vinaigrette ranch thing at you the know bottom. What the issue is no here. No one's eating a salad. The issue here is something we said we would talk about another day, but like it's, you don't know how to hold a fork, Love. <laughs> 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 like this is something <laughs> that we've discussed in private. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> but yeah, like um, I can, I can teach you if you want. I hold a fork the right way, but then when it gets to that last sure? bite, I switch <laughs> it's to not the, the last bite. to a very Neanderthal like, scoop. But that's for function. That's a, for function. That's not functionable. Functionable. That is Sorry, not even. Sorry, it's like I'm just when you're eating. I don't a do, salad. What I'm saying it's not all the time I do it, but then with that last bite where you need to scoop. It's not the last bite, Levy. It's most of the bites, and you do it with spoons too. Cereal, ice cream. <laughs> you got that. You got that caveman hold on the spoon. <laughs> wow. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm just saying, like, if your issue is like a fork can't pick up Levy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's our next sponsor? <laughs> Let's get rid of this. Oh my god! Our next sponsor is Bombas. Mm. Bombas's mission is simple: make the most comfortable clothes ever and match every item sold with an equal item donated. So when you buy Bombas, you are also giving to someone in need. Isn't that great? That's I love Bumbas. it so much. Bumba's designed their socks, shirts, and underwear to be the clothes you can't wait to put on every day. Everything they make is soft, seamless, tagless, which is my personal favorite thing about it. Because you know I hate a tag. I well, also my favorite thing because you cut them all off and, and you just leave them somehow, on the floor of our bathroom. No, no. On your side of the sink. Yeah. Always. That's where the scissors are. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. they're tagless and they have luxuriously cozy feel to them. They're made from super soft materials like merino wool, pima cotton. I hope I'm saying these right. And even cashmere. I know this. Is, I know. So that one. Yeah, right. you got cashmere, right? Cashmere, which makes them the perfect cozy winter layers. There's a pair of Bombas socks for everything you do. They come in tons of options like comfy performance styles for every sport and activity that keeps you moving. Bombas t-shirts are made with thought Thoughtful design features like invisible seams, soft fabrics, and the perfect weight so they hang just right. Bombas underwear mm, has a barely there feel with a second skin support that might make you forget they're even Who wrote there. This? this is intense. In a good way. Oh, God. Yeah, it got even And worse. did you know that socks, underwear, and t shirts are the three most requested clothing items at homeless shelters? That's why Bombas mm. donates one for every item you buy. I really think that is so That's incredible. Really I'm so 
I just, I love that. Go to bombas.com slash relax and get 20% off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash relax for 20% off. Bombas.com slash relax. Okay, I am very excited about this next little segment because there's something that's kind of embarrassing in my life. And I, okay, listen, I love TikTok. Which one? I'm obsessed with TikTok. I think TikTok is so great. And I do something I think a lot of people do where I'll be like, oh, I heard one. So I, I read an article or I was watching the news and I'll say no, something I, know it's I all found from out TikTok. and it's always from TikTok. Any pop culture news event. I know everything. Anything from going on in the world. If you make a comment on it, I know you learned it on TikTok. So yes. I don't know why this popped in my head today, but a TikTok I saw like a month or two ago popped into my head and I was like, oh, I have to ask Eric about this because it blew my mind when I saw it. Um, so basically I'm going to tell you what this TikTok was, but then it made me think like, there's a lot of things I've learned from TikTok and I'm going to tell you some of the random facts and fun things I've learned from TikTok. I like that. So the first one is this. Okay. So I saw a TikTok, it was viral and it was talking about how- I'm sorry to interrupt, but this is by the way, like when we get to talk, our only conversations are you telling me about (laughs) things that you saw or learned on TikTok. Oh, obviously. Yes. Um, okay. So I saw this TikTok that was talking about how, like something about the smell of ants, like how ants smell weird. And I was like, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. The smell of ants. I don't know what an ant smell is. Oh my God, we're on the same page. Yes. So people can smell ants. What do you mean? I guess ants have a smell. Like and we're not like, in this club. Like if your house is infested with ants? No, or like, like if, if you're you, walking past an ant I think it's like anthill. when you squish an ant or like an ant in fear or, or a squished ant, like it has a scent. And I have, and, and there, and I was like, this can't be real. So I looked in the comments. And so then you so killed many, ants in your no, face? No, I did not. I, I read the comments and there's so many people who were like, oh yeah, the smell of ants is the worst. And then there was a lot of comments who were like, wait, people can smell ants? So I think it's one of these things. Another thing I learned on TikTok. Well, now I'm desperate to smell an ant. Right? Because and I don't know what that is. I know. And, and here's the other thing. Like, remember a long time I learned on TikTok, I've talked about it on the podcast, I think, where some people in their thoughts, they like see, like if I said, imagine a purple elephant riding a surfboard, you can see that in your mind. You mm-hmm. can see that visual, mm-hmm. right? There are some people who can't like, mm-hmm. or like when I'm reading really? a book, mm-hmm. I see it in my head, like a movie. Uh-huh. Like I can visualize the characters. I can visualize where they yeah, are. We've also talked at length about how your thoughts talk back to you. Like they're like narrative. Well, they don't talk back to me, but like, I think you hear in my head, yeah, I hear like my voice narrator. in my head, yeah. not a which narrator. I, it's I not don't. like I'm walking into another room. It's like, oh, where did I put my bag? Like, I think this sentence Mm-hmm. Like I hear myself say this to myself in my head. Mm-hmm. So you don't think that if you no. thought, where's my wallet? This, yeah. You don't, what do you think? I don't hear in my head like, hmm, <laughs> Eric was wondering where his wallet was. <laughs> it's not a third person. It's like, where's my wallet? It's like a British woman in my head. What are you talking hanging? about? It's your voice. It's just like, well, so then what's in your head when you think, where's my wallet? I literally am just thinking, where's my wallet? Like it's just what do you present mean? tense. Like it's not, it's not like there's, it's not like, narr- well, it's, it's not like narrated. Present tense for me too. I think, I literally think, where's no, it's my like, wallet? it's like of the moment, like, yeah. <laughs> but it's not, but, it's, okay. <laughs> but, it's not, but I don't hear it. You don't hear, where's my wallet? No, it's functional. Like, I don't know where my wallet is. Where's my wallet? Like, I don't, I'm not hearing a thought. That's <laughs> so weird. Then what is a thought? We've already done Anyway, okay. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, that, that <laughs> led me what to- what is a thought? <laughs> okay, so then I thought, the only bug that I've ever thought like, oh, that bug stinks, other than like a stink bug. Stink bug. Is a ladybug. So have you, do you know what a ladybug smells like? Because I think they reek. Mm, no. What? I don't know this what any bug smells mind. like. I know what like a worm smells like. What? A worm? <laughs> yeah. Like dirt? Yeah, kind of. No, so it just smells like dirt. Do you, do you do a lot of fishing as a kid? Do I look like I did a lot of fishing <laughs> as a kid? <laughs> Worst interview question I've ever asked you. Like, like <laughs> as if I've never met you. <laughs> Do a lot of fish. Like, well, if, if you did, when no. you like, for me, like that was like a thing. Like you would use, you know, like I bait or whatever. Yeah, and like I feel like it had. I feel like it had like a a smell that I can hmm. remember. Oh my gosh, this is I just remember wearing a ladybug shirt. Yeah, yeah, that's why I thought of this because you're okay. wearing a ladybug shirt, and I was like, oh, ladybug stink. And then I remembered that TikTok, and I was like, oh, I gotta talk about this TikTok. And then that made me think about a lot of things I've learned on TikTok. Okay. So anyway, you can't smell ladybugs. That blows my mind. Um, smell them sometimes. They stink real bad. I hate the smell of ladybugs. I think it's disgusting. Um, so tell us, you guys tell us, can you smell ants? <laughs> They're saying that to me. 
Like, tell can us. they t- tell us if they smell ants? Like, I need to know if this is a real thing uh, yeah. or was I duped on a TikTok? Worms, like, um, worms just smell like dirt. Wh- what about when we had those like, um, like cat- caterpillar houses for Flynn where then they, mm-hmm. they then turned into butterflies? Did you smell those? No. Was that a, those have a smell? I like no. I think it's just ants and ladybugs. I don't know. But anyway, this blew my mind. So here's some other fun things. Okay. okay. So this one's crazy and I haven't tested it to see if it's true yet. Okay. These are just other random TikTok things? These are just random things I've seen on, heard on TikTok before. And I'm like, what? Love, this is an hour podcast. I know I could, I, I can do this every week. This could be a segment. Okay. If you lick someone's elbow when they aren't paying attention, they won't feel it. I don't know if this is true or not. I haven't been able to test it. But see, I'm, I'm expecting it. I know you're expecting it, but like. I'm expecting it. Well, okay, so here, this is what we'll do. This is what we'll do. I'm going to close my eyes. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you're going to do it or if there you're you not going to do yeah. it. Okay. So just talk about what's the next thing. Okay. What's well, the, I don't remember. I have to look at my thing. Well, look, that, to, look that direction. Okay. I'm looking this direction. Well, I'm not and looking. We'll, my eyes are closed. Well, open your eyes and read the next thing. The next TikTok thing. <laughs> I can just talk about something else. Yeah, just talk okay. About something well, else. I kind of feel like you just are going to lick it because. You're not gonna not lick it. We're talk about something else. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about. I feel did like you feel it? it? You didn't do it. <laughs> you didn't do it that time. I don't know if you. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst feeling in the world, and I definitely could feel it. I, I wonder if it's that... like when your elbow is not taut. <laughs> oh, like loose you know, elbow? Like, you know, like you got the weenus. Like this is called the weenus skin. Like I wonder if like. Well, yes, I feel you're pinching me, but if you licked like a small weenus, dude. if you licked a loose you weenus, like abso- you have like almost no weenus. If you licked a loose like, weenus, I wonder if you could feel it. That's almost that's like nothing. See, if it's a taut weenus, you got a taut weenus, dude. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna feel it. Wait, right. I should do it to you. I should do it to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this podcast is so weird. Okay, so <laughs> get you your want- weenus loose. <laughs> Get your weenus loose. Yeah, I want to get that elbow skin going. Okay. You got a loose ween. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come here. Uh, you have okay. to, you, okay. So you have to not pay attention. You not, don't know if I'm going to do it or not, okay? Okay. So you can't be looking. You're well, looking literally into okay. the viewfinder. Okay. Close your eyes. Okay, my eyes are closed. Okay, so I'm not going to tell you if I'm doing it or not. Talk about something. And your <laughs> okay. eyes are not closed. I can see you blinking. <laughs> okay, my eyes are closed. Okay, I don't see. know if you're doing it or not doing it. I don't know when you would do it, if you're going to do it. I don't know. <laughs> did okay. you do it? I don't know. Did I? I didn't feel anything. I didn't. <laughs> when, when is this over? When is this moment over? <laughs> <laughs> but I barely, but I was looking. If, if I didn't know it was coming, I, I wouldn't have. I don't know. It's. I don't think it's true, but maybe it is. I don't know. Anyway, this one's really crazy. I did not know this. How do we just move on from that so casually? Like, what a segue! <laughs> like, you know, can this episode we just be licked each other's l- elbows? Licking loose weenuses. Licking loose weenuses. Yeah, you, just, weenus. you moved on so <clears throat> casually. Okay. okay. Anyway, slugs have four noses. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. What is are you on bug TikTok? Why no, is all your I'm, TikTok facts about? They're not all about bugs. Lovey, stop creaking your mic. About bugs. They're not. It's just, I think I got onto that one because of the ladybug one. Because I was uh-huh. t- today I was looking for the ladybug one. Oh, okay. And then I couldn't find and it. You found more found bug slug. facts and you're like, I'll well, throw this in the podcast. One. There's only two okay. bug facts. Okay, this one I've shown you before. You did this one with me once, okay? You cannot swallow more than I think three times in a row. I think that's what it is. I don't know if this is a fact. So yeah. Before you, but this you can't f- swallow more than three times in a row before your body forces you to stop. Okay. And we both have tried this and literally cannot do it. I don't, so, I don't think I can do it twice or not. I don't feel like wait, a I'm position. Gonna try, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Okay. One. Same, wait. Same time. Right. Okay. One. Two. I couldn't even do one. <laughs> I can't do two. <laughs> Why um, can't I start, do it? Start. Wait. I feel like I'm gonna vomit. <clears throat> Okay. Take a sip of water. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Try again. Try at home if you're listening in your car, wherever you are. How many, sw- how many swallows can you three. do? And then you, you can't do more than three? You can do more than three. Okay. Ready, guys? One, two, three. <laughs> I literally cannot do more than three. And I could only do three because I just took a sip of water, I think. If I hadn't just taken a sip of water, I couldn't have done two. Why can you not do more than three? That's fascinating. This is like in a row? Like it, 
That's fascinating. Well, also to go through this many years of life and not realize that. I'm not yeah, like, like I'm not, yeah, why can't you swallow three times? In a, I could if I was drinking water. Like you can gulp three times, you know, but just, but just a, your saliva, just a you can't dry swallow. More than you three. can't do more than three. Isn't that weird? Try again. Okay. Really everybody, try hard. And everybody really driving at the gym. Really try hard. Okay. One. Listening at home. Two. I can't even do two now. Three. I won't let me do three. Four. Four. You're <laughs> such a figure. You no, I got to three that time, but then I couldn't do four. Okay. Okay. A little, well, I don't know about that, but anyway. Okay, so that was really interesting. I only have one more that um, I wrote down, but I mean, I could make a whole episode out of this stuff. So I think this should be like a segment. I feel like it's okay, kind I can of like do it. things. I can do it every week. Is it literally is all you talk to me about anyways, like our kids. And, I, so uh, it might not be like things weird you saw on facts. TikTok. It can just be like fun or silly things I saw. Or thought. Like like this week, I'm really obsessed with that sound. I don't remember her name. I'm sorry. But the girl who says, Anka jams, mm -hmm. things like that. Like that <laughs> yeah. girl, I really like that sound. Uh -huh. I'm like obsessed with that sound. Um, I it's think an it's actress, uh, Julia Fox. Julia Fox, yeah. And she's she, recently linked to Kanye West. She said like she was his muse or something. And she's like, I think I was Josh Safdie's muse when he wrote Uncon Jams. Right, you know, things yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. I just love that sound. Anyway, so, uh, if, you didn't, one, if you didn't know, my wife is extremely good at impressions. That was a horrible impression. Do not say that. That was a good impression. OK, the last thing I wanted to say that I loved from TikTok that I found out recently from TikTok and I need to try it. So I'm, I'm going to try it this week and I'll report back to you. But I read. Or, I, see, I just lied. My throat still hurts. From I didn't time. read. I read because I looked it up, but I. I saw a TikTok and then I looked it up and I read that this that's is not, true. It's not reading. Okay. It is reading if I read it after I looked it up on it TikTok. reading it on your phone, I feel like, isn't reading it. Reading on your phone isn't know. reading? What are you talking about? I know. It's the only place where people... Is that the only place where people read these days? Is on their phones? Yeah, and like Kindles. Like, what are you talking about? That's not reading. Are, are kids not going to know what books are? They'll know what books are, maybe. I don't know. They know what construction trucks books are right now. Yeah. Anyway. We have um, lots of books. So, so I those saw, are all books. I saw he's pointing, by the way, to the listener to the shelf of books behind him that he's never read any of them, but he has them because he thinks they look cool. They're literally every book from like my entire life, and I've read every single one of them. But yeah, sure. yeah, I'm gonna go grab one, and you're gonna tell me what it I'm is. Good job. Should I grab one? <laughs> you and literally see? talk like her. I know. Well, I'm from California. Um, should <clears> I grab <throat> one, and you can tell me what it is and what it's about? No, because then you're gonna pick some weird, obscure one. Okay, that's but that, you like, just, just said you've read every single one. Well, they they literally are. They're like plays I did in high school or college, like. Or uh, like film books, or uh, they literally are. Like, I mean, you could. So I could go grab one. And you'd know everything about it. I don't it. know if it was some weird. Yeah, <laughs> go, go pick one. Go pick one right now. But Wait, you, let me tell you my. Pick it with thing. your eyes closed, though, because you're gonna like look for one that you're like, there's no way he read. <sighs> okay. This. Okay. So anyway, the other, the last thing I wanted to say from TikTok was this: if you put milk, literal milk, it's milk under your eyes. It gets rid of the bags under your eyes. Like if you sleep with, like you put it on under your eyes before you go to bed. Is that why you have no bags under your eyes? Oh, <laughs> the bags under my eyes are vicious no, right now. They, honestly, no, you don't. You're okay. Wow. I don't know why you're lying so much, but I have really bad bags under my eyes and like dark you don't. circles. You under honestly my eyes. don't. Is so it from milk? Is, no, this is what I'm going to do. So I thought what's better than regular milk? Regular. Breast milk. Yeah. And so I, for the next week until we record the next podcast every night before I go to bed, I'm going to take my own breast milk fresh from the tap and rub it underneath my eyes because it says to do that for like soak <laughs> it, soak your eyes in like milk. Mm -hmm. And then it'll help get rid of like bags and dark circles in your eyes. So I'm going to do it for a week and I'm going to report back to you guys and let you know if that's true. And I'm going to do the same thing with cow's milk with urine. Oh, come on. Participate. What? No, I'm being serious. Have I told you this story before? That you put pee in your eyes? No, that like I, I was in this Shakespeare company and this other actor like had like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've told me. I had, think you told it on the podcast. Yeah, exactly. So I'll put uh, morning fresh urine. But wait, I don't remember what the story is. I just remember something about just, pee. Just this man had immaculate skin and he convinced us all that it's because he took his first morning's pee and he put it on his face. <laughs> and he was dead serious and it was never discussed. I mean, it, it's it's known it as make as sense fat. because like that's the stuff like your body doesn't he want wasn't in it. joking. Yeah, I understand. You know but, what I mean? It's like why would you put that on your face? Like excess minerals. But like it's the stuff that and I liquid don't know. waste. Maybe if you drink a lot of vitamin C or something, like I would get it because it's like 
Anyways. Besides the point, you're putting milk on your face. I'm, I'm put putting pee my on my face. Breast milk yeah. on my f- Are you really going to put your pee on your face? Every day. You're not going to do that. Ugh. What have I got to lose? I don't know your skin. <laughs> I feel like boils might happen from something <laughs> like that. That is very and Shakespearean. I feel, like it, I feel like it would depend on the pee. Like if it was your pee, I feel like you'd be pretty good. Fine. But I'll put your pee, pee on my face. No, your skin would fall off. <laughs> You don't want McDonald's pee on your face. No, I don't. That's not good. By the way, I'm very Salad upset with McDonald's. Pee. I'm, very, any better. I'm upset with McDonald's right now. And guys. Uh, do we have time? No, right we now have to say to thanks talk? to our next sponsor. You have first, a big and problem with I'll McDonald's. Well, I probably won't even tell you. I'll probably forget by the time the ad's over. <laughs> All right. The next sponsor of the day is Today Ticks. Today Ticks. Do. Today ticks. We love today ticks. We've used today ticks. Eric specifically have, has used today ticks saw Hamilton. Uh, more than me. He used it to go see Hamilton on the Broadway. Same day he we were in New York I, City. I, I can, why are we in New York City? I can love? be spontaneous. Why what? are we? Why are we in New York City? Why? Tell him why. Because we were staying there. Why are we? So why are we staying in New York City? Because we were there. Because we were staying in New York for work. What work? For, I guess you were working, I guess, a little bit. I was on Broadway. Oh, I get it, yeah. Um, anyway, he, he used Today Ticks. Uh, before they ever sponsored us, by the way, we love Today Ticks. That's actually true. Before they were sponsoring us. Um, they're wonderful. They have amazing prices to see some of the best theater in the world. Truly, you saw Hamilton, which some would say is the best show on the planet. I would, so, say, I would say Moulin Rouge. Um, moving on. So what is Today Ticks? Today Ticks is your one-stop shop for theater tickets with the best value on tickets to Broadway and beyond. Just download the app or visit todayticks.com to find a show you want to see. It's so easy to use. Getting tickets is easier than ever. With the Today Ticks app, you can check out in 30 seconds and get your tickets with ease. That's amazing. You know what I did when I, I lived in New York? App. I should have used the app. I know. Yes, it sounds like way faster. When I lived in New York, I would have to freaking wait in line for hours to buy tickets. I they're, never they're knew I could be doing this. Thirty seconds. So amazing! You got such a good deal on those Hamilton tickets. It was so I fast, did. same day. It's just what a wonderful experience. I, just, I wasn't gonna give it up, you know. So you can book your tickets My months shot. in advance, or even day of if you're feeling spontaneous. Today Takes gives you access to exclusive pre-sales, limited time offers, digital lottery programs to sold out shows, and day of discounted tickets. Today Takes isn't just for Broadway and London's West End. Oh, no, no, no. You can also find tickets in cities across the country and around the world, including Chicago, L.A., D.C., San Francisco, Sydney, and more. See that show you We live in L.A.? We do. That's correct. (laughs) Where she is it? I want to go see a show. Okay, let's do it. Is it safe? See... See that show you've always wanted to see or discover something new that you'll love just as much for even less. Go to todaytix.com slash relax and use promo code relax to get $10 off your first Today Ticks purchase. That's promo code relax at todaytix.com slash relax for an additional $10 off your first ticket purchase. Todaytix.com slash relax. I got a couple things I want to talk about. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, one of the first ones... Um, was Wordle. Uh, what is Wordle? What? Do you know what it is? What is Wordle? Do you know for real? I do now. I don't know what it is. I do my research, but like I've been really, uh, you know, when you're not in on something and so it bothers you for like no reason. Yeah. You know, it's probably great and fun and whatever. Yeah. Everyone like, you loves I mean? Wordle these days. And good for them. Like, well, we don't have a lot of time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we're, uh, we're occupied. Mm-hmm. So we're not like doing Wordles. Um, but I don't are, know what it is, but I heard it's like Sudoku, but so with are the, so are other spelling. People. And I'm like, why would you want to spell for fun? Like, I'm a really bad speller, so that just sounds right. not fun to me. So I looked up Wordle today, and I was like, what is it? And like, good for the guy that invented it. Like, I'm happy for him. He like come up with this, came up with this cool uh, word scramble kind of game. Then sold it to New York Times. What like, is it? Good, Can you good it for to him. Me? It's essentially like, you know, that game you love uh, where there's the colors and then you have to pick them. What is what is that game? I don't know what you're talking there's about. There's the plastic pieces and there's the little ones and the bigger ones that are all color and you have to guess. Mastermind? Mastermind. Mm-hmm. I love Mastermind. It's like Mastermind. Mastermind, but with words. So I think actually you would love it. But I'm a horrendous speller. Like I'm not a good speller. Sure. But like the way the way it actually works is that like. 
you get six guesses to guess like the words that they're thinking of. And if you get a letter right, then it's green. But if you get a letter right, but it's in the wrong place, it's oh, gray. It is like mastermind. So it's very much like this guy was like, I mean, no offense, but like he was like mastermind, but with words. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, because that's literally what mastermind okay. is uh, with color combinations. Lovey, tell him how good I am at mastermind. You're incredible at mastermind. I'm really good so, at mastermind. So I, but I'm not a good speller. I would not so I really, th I, so I, when I was trying to figure out what the heck Wordle was and why people were posting these like pictures of green and gray Mm -hmm. squares all the time on like every social media, you know, I, I didn't, I get the communal aspect. They thought it was fun and like maybe other people are playing it and that's cool, I guess. But like, then I realized, oh, my wife would really like, I feel like you would really like okay, this. Okay. So I got to try it out. Um, game. Mm -hmm. And so I did a Wordle. Okay. And how'd you do? I got it. Good for my you. My first one ever, I got it, I think, in the sixth guess. And so it gave me that, like, image of the squares or mm -hmm. whatever. And so, like, I have not tweeted since September. Mm -hmm. It is now, uh, what is it? I have no idea. Honestly, I don't. Do you say February or February? I don't think I say either because those both <laughs> sounded really weird. <laughs> I think I say February. Good for you. Did you say Feb? Is what it February? You, no one says February. It's February? How's it spelled? Why did you say Feb? You, you said, why did it both sound weird to me? I don't know what it is. Now I'm confused. It's February. Yeah. Fe say it again. February. No, no one says. Uh, do you say that? Maybe you I say. I don't. I don't think so. What do you say? Well, look at the, look at the spelling. Okay. Yeah, I know it's spelled February, but no one right. says February. Well, I don't know. Do you? I don't I actually don't know how to say the month. Of the year. <laughs> Say it. So I was asking you out of desperation, like, please tell me. And you did not have a clear answer for me. February. What do you say? February. I just got to, <laughs> you just got to, you got to yeah, blend it. Yeah. February. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I was thinking it would be funny um, for me to now tweet for the first time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Five months. In five months. Mm hmm. Um, We've had the birth of twins. Mm -hmm. We've had life events. Mm -hmm. Never tweeted about them. If I would just to like shoot out a word, a wordle oh, score. Oh, that's so cringe and so old, like old person I know, of yeah. you. Okay. Just, just, just cause, uh, okay, I just so, thought that'd be kind so of funny. So you haven't done this yet. You're going to do this on. I was going to do it live. I was going to do it live. Well, you know, the podcast is not live, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is pre-recorded. <laughs> um, I okay. think I shared it with myself. Okay. Okay. I see. This doesn't make any sense to me. It's just like copy. Okay. I and wonder now, if people are gonna like say like that's not a good score or something. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I so just. What are you gonna say? I, in I just tweet? thought because uh, well, I well also like Twitter kind of. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Meh. How the. So what are you gonna say on your the kind of things Twitter? that you get on Twitter these days? Like. Okay. What are you gonna say? You're just going to put the, I think you should just have no context. No, yeah, no, no, nothing. I don't, how do you do just it? The, Why is it not pasting? I'll paste. Okay. And just, just that. Just I like. I love it. Just, <laughs> just, just post your Wordle score. Ever, just, just posting my Wordle score. It says two, four, nine, five, six. Post it and right it, it's now. It's got gray, yellow, and green squares. You are such. Everyone's gonna make fun of you so. And then hard. we're just gonna see what people say. Okay. I don't have a huge following on Twitter. I like I said, I haven't tweeted since since September, so I'm tweeting that. Okay, he just tweeted it. I am so excited about this. And now we're just gonna. Now we're just gonna talk about what people say to it. Okay. I think if anything, because maybe oh oh they said Eric. <laughs> so Omg, you play too. They're so excited. Okay, Good refresh, for, yeah. refresh. Someone's going to make fun of you for this, for I'm, sure. Yeah, I'm waiting for people to make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for it, too. Because it's maybe, like the nerdiest tweet ever. You got to retweet. Love you, you got to retweet. Uh-huh. Eric, so true, Eric. Hi, Eric. OMG. I'm waiting for someone to say, like, OMG, this Eric, must you're be active. LOL, not you, too. Eric, buddy, not you, too. Oh, uh, you've oh, you fallen. fallen. Wordle, hole, Wordle, mm -hmm. Twitter, yeah. Yeah, no one's making Eric's fun of you. Eric's active. Eric, are you hacked? That's good. <laughs> they think you're hacked. <laughs> Stockland, no. <laughs> so they're I, all just yes, mad you're I, doing Wordle. I well, I thought it would it would be I, I, obvious that this is just for a, like a podcast. So did you? Bit. Is it an app you download Wordle? 
Well, now it's on the New York Times. So I, so I think you just go to like the New York. You, know, you have a no, phone. No, but I'm, I'm just uh, wait. You, wait, you can't answer that question. Is it's not an app. We don't need to download anything. I'm just asking a question. I don't know what you can't answer. It's like a yes uh, or no I, question. No, I didn't. I didn't download an app. No. So it's it was, not an app. It, uh, it wasn't for me. It might be an app for other people. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. How you just apps went work. on New York Times. Well, I know sometimes you can do things and then it's like open the app. Like so you, I didn't, you typed in New York Times dot com and no, I just typed in Wordle and then like somehow it brought me to like the New York Times Wordle of the. I think they do this every day. So there's only one every day. One word every day, and so I think everybody in the world is does like, the same word is, every day. Is competing on like who did this with the most um who guessed l- the, the least, first least amount of guesses yeah because i've seen them and i've seen them and i've seen people like respond like wow so impressive i'm like well, what's so impressive about their that. gray gray okay. yellow and green squares so don't tell me what the wordle is of the day i'm gonna try to do you it do, oh, do it right now well i have to go pump so i'm gonna pump and while i'm pumping i'll try to do the wordle and we'll come back and see if we got whose score is better okay i don't know how to play but we'll slay try. eric He's reading tweets, Eric by buddy, the way, to the too. listener. He's reading tweets. All right, I'm going to go pump you and tweet, try Wordle. You tweet three times a year, and this is what you tweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back from pumping, and I have my Wordle score. How'd you do? I didn't do well. <laughs> did you get it? I got it. I took a screenshot of what I did. Trove, yeah, you got it. I got it. It was Trove, but I did it. It took me five times. I think, that's how, I think that's how many it took me. I know, but I'm better than you. <laughs> so you need to- <laughs> I wanted to beat you and you I didn't. You need to beat me. We tied. Um, but yeah, that's what how I did. So I did. Here, I'll show you if you're watching. This is, oh God, that I'm trying to show the screen. Whoa. That's what I did. Uh-huh. So I didn't do very good. So but I tried. The word the day we're recording this podcast was, was trove. trove. But did you enjoy it? Did you see how it was like Mastermind? It is like Mastermind, but I didn't like it because. You had to think of words. Well, yeah. And I'm like, well, what if I'm. What if you don't know words? What if I don't know words? Yeah, it's like, what I if it's like you. a French word or something? I don't know. I like it with colors better. Like I like the Mastermind of colors. It's more Almost, visual. Yeah. Yeah. I like it better. But you see how it is kind of Mastermind. Yeah, I guess. I don't know why it's so popular. It's very interesting that that is. Um, did anyone else respond well, to your tweet while I was pumping? Oh, oh t- yeah. A few. Did, a did few. anyone make fun of they you or all, they all just like think, stoked uh, you're doing work? Everyone thinks. You're hacked. I'm hacked except for this uh, person, Hannah, saying king behavior. King behavior? Okay. Yeah. Follow me. Mm-hmm. Any other... One this being mentioning. your first tweet in ages is so millennial of you. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Uh-huh. Was stuff like that. One hundred percent. Eric was hacked. Mm-hmm. Other people posting their Wordle scores of today. Mm-hmm. Uh, people saying what, what the f is Wordle? Oh wow! People haven't heard of Wordle. Somebody is. Well, I mean, we didn't. I didn't know what it was until I looked it up today. Well, I didn't know what it was, but I knew I'd heard people talk and about Wordle. And they're saying, Wordle. hi, hi, Hannah. You're just saying hi to Hannah? Hi, Christy. Hi, All right. Dolce. Well, you know who we need to say hi to? Who's that? Our next sponsor. <laughs> Is it Jessica? Hi, Jessica. <laughs> it's not Jessica. It's oh. Everly Well. It's Everly Well, guys. Obviously, Now's the time to set yourself up for a better and brighter year. Everly Well can help you give yourself more clarity, more confidence, and well-being with over 30 at-home lab tests. You guys, this mm-hmm. is actually super cool. Oh, I got Before, one. I know. Which one did you get? The men's health one. I know. I saw it sitting right outside, um, right outside this room, actually, like mm-hmm. on our little, like, yeah. our put on your shoes ledge. I mm-hmm. saw it and I was like, oh, he got one. Mm-hmm. Did you send it in yet? Waiting for my results to see if I'm oh. a healthy man. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited but to I, see. But I am like, it made me nervous, but also like, I want this information. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I need this information. Why wouldn't you want it? It's awesome. Especially now as a, as a father, I'm like, I need to know, am I a healthy male? I don't know. Well, I'm a yawning woman. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm not a healthy You're a woman. Yawning maybe, woman. I, maybe I need to take the men's health one and see if my health is um, declining. And that's why I'm like, so yawny. What? Why would you need to take? I don't the know. Men's maybe that. Maybe they'd come back with the test results and be like, "You're real yawny." Anyway, okay. I'm tired. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> that really well is an at-home lab test that gives you physician-reviewed results and personalized insights, so you can take action on your health and wellness, all at an affordable and transparent cost. It's see-through. 
love. <laughs> With over 30 tests, you'll be able to choose the ones that make the most sense for you. Food sensitivity, metabolism, sleep and stress and thyroid are just a few of the many options. Here's how it works. Everly Well ships your at-home lab test straight to you with everything needed for a simple sample collection. They did? Mm-hmm. Using the prepaid shipping label, mail your test back to a certified lab. I did. In just days, your I physician- I did it days reviewed, ago, so it's coming. Yeah. Your physician-reviewed results and actionable insights are sent to your device. And you can share the results with your primary care physician to help guide next steps. Over 1 million people have trusted Everly Well with their at-home lab testing. I did the food sensitivity one, and it was very exciting to get my results back. So I'm just saying You're sensitive it was few- to beans. <laughs> Who's not these <laughs> days? It's super exciting though. It is really fast and easy. And I'm very excited to see what your health is with your body. They're going to say too sexy, <laughs> too hot to handle. That's what it's going to say. Love. You're you, not saying you anything. needed those 10 pounds. <laughs> oh, please. For listeners of the show, Everly Well is offering a special discount of 20% off an at-home lab test at everlywell.com slash relax. That's everlywell.com slash relax for 20% off your at-home lab test. Everlywell.com slash relax. Okay. Hmm. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back, we're, we're back. We're, we're back, back from where? Har- we never harmony, left. Harmony, 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 harmony. But wait, why are we saying we're back? From we never, we didn't, from, we didn't go anywhere, but we're back yeah, from Yeah, we literally just have been we, sitting we right here. And we we finished changed. the ad li- literally two seconds literally ago. Literally haven't changed, but like you started singing we're back. I said we're back? I think you said we're back. Okay, harmony, Did I say we're harmony, back? Harmony, you go high, I go low. Okay. We're back. Wait, wait, I go high, you go low? That seems like in unison. Yeah, because you went up. You said you were going to go, okay, ready? You give you, you know, go first. Okay, no, you go first. You're and, the vocal coach. <laughs> you go first, and I'll add harmony to you. We're back. We're back. We're back. Uh, We're back. That, Ooh, that was my right. fault. That was really bad. That was my fault. Good. Try again. Try. We're, We're back. back. We're back. back. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, we're so bad at that. Um, sorry, guys. So we have a three-year-old now. We do. Yeah, and if. Anyone listening has witnessed this happen. We've gone from parents of a baby to now parents of a baby and twins. But like that baby has become a three-year-old. He ain't a baby. And he says, and he's now a little boy. And we say this to each other all the time. We're like, oh my gosh, he's, he's a little boy. Yeah. He's a little, he's, he's. A, I thought you were going to say, we say this to each other all the time. He's the a best. toddler. He's the best. He is the best. That's what we say all the time. We're always but like, he's also he's like, best. he's a full, he's a full on, like, he's not a baby. He's a kid. Yeah. And we got a kid. It's really weird. Say that out loud. Uh-uh. I, I know. It's crazy. We got, Yawn yeah. that out loud. <laughs> we're a kid. We got a kid. Um, and he says. The darndest the, things. The. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Do you remember the show? The kids say the darndest yeah, things. Yeah, and I'm, I'm aware of who did it, and I don't, I don't want to bring him up because it was Bill Cosby. Oh, and so like no. that's not him. Oh. <laughs> that's not him, him being I involved. I feel like someone else did it too. Uh, okay, I'm thinking of the one from a million years ago. It was Bill. No, Cosby. it wasn't. The original one was not him. Jesus. No, there was one. The, the one that I know of was like from like the 50s or something a million years ago. Not from the 50s. That was very Elvis? dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Elvis doing... Wait, now I have to look it up because it's driving me nuts. I know it wasn't... I don't even want to say his name on our podcast. Dick Van Dyke? No. Okay. What did I say? Whose line it is Kid- anyways? What's the show about? <laughs> Kids. Kids do the... Say, say the darndest... The darndest. Is it darndest? Yeah, it's kids do the darndest thing. Darndest does not roll Ugh. off the tongue. Okay, Bill Cosby. No, I know I've seen someone else do it. Art Linkletter. Art Kelly? Art, oh, it's no. also problematic. Art Linkletter. Wow. Come on now. Oh yeah, I know. I know Ark. I've seen I've seen like really <laughs> old footage of like really, really anyway. Okay. Anyways, like, like moving he, on from he that. really does. He really does say the, the darndest, darndest things. things yeah. And so I thought it would be fun since we like uh, are so preoccupied by which one is crying mm-hmm. and and when mm-hmm. that we don't get to really talk. So I wanted to say like, what's the funniest thing? Mm-hmm. Well, tonight before Flynn, Flynn went to bed. Flynn said to you this week. I mean, he says a million funny things every day, so it's a hard to pick. A million every day. It's but, hard to pick. Um, th- th- and l- that is true. So the, literally the only reason I'm saying this is because it's the most recent thing that just happened. Okay. But right before he went to bed, I was pumping. 
Uh-huh. And he came up and he got real close to the pump. And I don't know if any of you have ever been up real close to a pump. It's it's an experience. It's a lot. And um, this is how Eric described it once. And I almost cried. I think you called my nipples <laughs> like morning star sausage links or something. And I literally was like, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Why did you say that publicly? You said it to me publicly. Um, so, but that is, uh, you know, it's a, it's a sight well, to see a- that thing pulling it, <laughs> pulling at your boobs. It's not fun. I really hate pumping. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Um, so anyway, <laughs> but Flynn came up real Morning close. Morning stars. <laughs> Just jerk. I specified the brand. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Flynn came up an inch from where this activity is going on. And he's like, why is your milk's moving like that? <laughs> and I was like, it's getting my milks out. Uh-huh. And so then he started. To be... Uh, Full disclosure, he calls nipples milks. Yes, because that's how he knows my boobs, because he drank milk from them until he was almost Which two. Which good for him, because that's the function. And around two, I don't remember. And then now he's seeing the baby drink from me and me being pumped all the time. So That's what they're um, there for. He calls them milks. Yeah. And so then he said, why are your milks moving like that? And he was like laughing. And then I was like, is it getting my milk out? And so then he started pulling on his own milks. To get milks out. Okay. But that was the most recent thing that happened that was funny. But he's, I mean, it's constant. He's the funniest person ever. So what do you have? I'm sure you have a uh, list. I wasn't prepared for this. Flynn gets frustrated. Yes. And I don't know where he got it, but my favorite thing that he does, when he's playing with a toy, when he's playing with like, oh, let's say a flatbed tow truck, mm-hmm. but the flatbed doesn't close easily because mm-hmm. it's got some sand in there, some dirt, because we've been playing in sand or dirt. He goes, dang it, bummer. He got it from you. What do you mean you don't know where he got it? Because he got dang it from me, but then he said bummer once. And he said bummer in a really funny way. Like the first time he said bummer. Bummer. The first time he said bummer, it was like, oh, I remember what it was. He was he wasn't being very nice to you. Mm-hmm. And he said bummer, but normally we would like, like him, have him a, mm-hmm. give him a talk about like how to be kind and how to react properly. Uh-huh. But instead we just laughed so hard. So he's pretending to talk on the phone to me and we were having a phone conversation uh-huh. and then Eric tried to join in. So Eric picked up his phone and was like, hello, Flynn. And Flynn was like, no, daddy, I'm not talking to you. And, and then you, he hung up on you or you hung up on, uh-huh. you were, you were trying to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> on a pretend phone. On uh-huh. a pretend phone. And then, um, he, you, he hung up on you and you're like, oh, you hung up on me. And he's all bummer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it was like super rude to you, but it was so funny. And so then you taught him to say, dang it, bummer. Well, I didn't teach him. I just like, I think like the laugh encouraged him that to like. To say bummer more. To say bummer. I just think it's so funny to see a three-year-old playing with toys being like, it's not working. Bummer. Yeah. He's the way he says it, it's like very so emphasized. Funny. And I, they're just like. Dang it, bummer. And now he is. He, yeah, it's dang, so dang it has become, become part of the bummer. So he says, yeah. dang it, bummer. And I think it's really funny. And then also uh, was giving Flynn a bath. Mm-hmm. And he loves bubbles and like getting bubbles on. Bubbles is like the equivalent of mud. And so mm-hmm. like he has his toys in the bath and like gets bubbles on them. And it, it's, it, it's soapy became like it's, it's, uh, it's soapiness. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, so penis? and so like so he started saying like oh dada this truck is so penis <laughs> <laughs> and i thought it was and i started laughing so hard because i didn't hear like there's so much soapiness yeah on this truck <laughs> this truck is so penis <laughs> like <laughs> so this truck i started so laughing which made him then talk more about how like everything in the bath <laughs> Sorry, it's creaking. And then everything in the bath was, the was like so penis. Like, everything you know is so penis. Oh, then he just kept he kept going more and more about it was so penis. Yeah, like about the soapiness of the trucks. I love it. Like and like the toys that he had in the bath were like like all because like, they were soapy. They they were the soapiness of them. Like they were so penis. You know what I mean? Like I love that he learns some things from you know different videos and whatnot. So like there's an app that we do for good night time, and it's narrated by a British man. Mm-hmm. And so when he says good night to the stork, the mm-hmm. stork. It says good night, Stork. He's British, so he says Stork. So Flynn now thinks Storks, because we we've never talked about a Stork to him, so he's never heard anyone say Stork except for mm-hmm. this British man. So we saw a Stork at the park, and he's like, "Oh look, a Stork." Yeah, he and, really emphasized that Stork. And there's a video that he likes um, of trucks, and the man has an accent who's talking about these different um, 
trucks. And so he was watching and I go, oh, what truck is that for? And he goes, it's a city bus. City bus. <laughs> it was yeah. a city bus, but he was like said it the same accent. Also, as our garage is a garage. A garage. Based off of whichever video he had seen video over the British we accent. showed him. Or whatever. Um, any, anyway, I think so penis is like uh so penis. is like a merch idea. Well, you what's funny about that that he's was calling things so penis is that the other day Eric and I were saying like things that's where, so penis. The other day, like a few days ago, you like and so I, penis, but like so Yeah, I penis. get it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we, I think everyone gets it. Um a few days ago, you and I were both saying calling things so butt. Oh, that's so mm-hmm. butt. And so that's funny to me that like a couple of days later he's calling things so penis. Yeah. But it it's funny that like he doesn't necessarily get it. No, he doesn't completely, get it completely. But it made me laugh so hard that like it made him lean even mm-hmm. more into the joke to oh, make yeah. me laugh. You have other things he says. I like I talking love about that Flynn. Kid. Uh, I love talking about Flynn. No, I mostly like all of my phone just is so what? penis. It's just so penis over yeah. and over again. No, <laughs> Flynn's the best. I mean, we could. I'm sure there's a million things we could and say. Dang it, bummer. I, I thought you'd bummer. have things. Well, you didn't warn me about this. I didn't know. But there's a, I mean, Flynn is, there's a million things every day, all day. Um, well, we'll have to take time to like really think about all, I need to like write down now that I know this will be like a segment. Like what did Flynn uh-huh. say? But I will say this. Well, one the of my, darndest things. He says the darndest things. But I, I love that he does accents all the time. He does. So like he, he likes to come up to us and go, you want to play with me? But he doesn't say, do you want to play with me? He goes, you want to play with my, like he does stuff like that all he the does. time. He, he does a Southern accent when we're doing like truck Well, things. and I don't know where he got this, but sometimes I like, we'll do so. Well, the reason he got that is from cars. Cause we would do Mater. Mater. And we go, Oh, Hey, what, what was the thing Mater used to say? I don't remember. Uh, it's a long time ago. He's into cars. What the heck you do? I was trying to think of the Mater <laughs> thing. It's like, yeah. What's the Mater thing? He always uh, says, if I'm lying, I'm crying. I'm, lying, I'm Mater. A, there's something else. I don't know. But anyway, um, so we did that voice a lot. So I think that transition to all trucks just kind of talk like this. Uh huh. Like, oh, you got some dirt. He just, yeah, you got some dirt. And he like yeah, bought into yeah. it hard. Yeah. You want to put it in my dump truck? Yeah. You know, like we, so, but then I started um, talking with a British accent one day and mm-hmm. he calls that my girl voice. Right. And I'm like, where did he get that? Like a girl talks higher. Cause I'd be like, oh, hello. And he was like, Talk like a girl, mama. Whenever uh-huh. he says talk like a girl, that's what it means. Oh, that reminds me something funny he did do today. And then this will be the last thing I'll say is Eric came to my office tonight and he goes, Eric, uh, Flynn wants to tell you something. There's, do you know, I'm two people. Right. There's two versions of In the way that you're two people, which is yes. why I thought it was so funny is that I was talking to him and I was like, Hey man, let's do this. Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, Oh, okay, Eric. And I was like, what? And he's like, you're talking like Eric. Can you talk like Dada? <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? He's like, okay, great. And I was like, Oh, so Dada talks like this. And he's like, yeah. And so I was more like, expressive, like, like more expressive hat backwards. Me is like Eric, is Eric. but like when I'm just talking to him normally, That's I'm, Daddy. I'm Dada. And so I brought him to you and you did. So then I said, who, who am I right now? Who am I talking like? And he said, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought he would say like mommy and Colleen, but mm. he just said I was talking like you. Anyway. And then you did Miranda and he said. He said Miranda. The devil. Oh, come on. We love you. Oh, that reminds me. I have to film a Miranda video tomorrow. All right. We love you guys. Thanks Look for your listening. hair. Are you using that hairbrush with I'm the air? I'm using grease. I need to wash that my hair. That hairbrush with the air, like. Follow up. I'm stoked. Checking on back in is really finishing working. this podcast because I really want to shower. So we're gonna go because I'm gonna shower. Did you just flinch at me? T- your husband touching my hair your is head? greasy, and I don't want you touching my greasy hair. It smells like ants. Okay, we're going. <laughs> Goodbye. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary, and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones, so you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.